Hey guys, for today's video, I wanted to do an affordable skincare haul that I got during the Sephora VIB sale. I know, it sounds weird to say affordable and Sephora in the same sentence, but I got a lot of The Ordinary and then this new brand called The Inkless that I've never heard of, but still like an affordable uh, price range, and I thought I would share it with you guys. So um, first of all, let me apologize for the lack of consistency. My household has been a little chaotic to say the least, so um, we're looking for a house, which I mentioned to you guys before, and I feel like um, it's like just consumed us like it's literally controlling our entire life right now there's so much going on with like the process of it because we are trying to build it's been um i don't want to say like super super stressful because i feel like it hasn't been as stressful as what i've heard other people say about buying a home but it's been like all consuming basically and then on top of that my sister just got here over the weekend so she's staying with us for the summer it's just very it's chaotic um she's actually staying in this office so this office is a disaster it would be a disservice to show you guys what my scene is right now because oh my god it's such a mess i'm not gonna complain i'm not gonna complain about anything actually but it's just been like really chaotic so that's my reasoning for not having a lot of videos but hopefully I don't want to promise anything because I have a heavy like client load this month as well. Like I think I have like somebody every like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm pretty sure for the rest of May. So I'm I'm gonna do my best to stick as as consistent as possible. Hopefully we'll stick to the three videos a week. I can get back to that. I'm really gonna try my best, you guys. I'm so sorry. Like I feel so bad. Um, because I hate being inconsistent because I hate when my favorite youtubers do that even though like I know they probably have stuff going on I'm like but I miss you guys I'm like saying this as if I'm people's favorite youtubers but no like as somebody who puts out videos I want to stay consistent um, with my viewers so I'm gonna do my best also since my sister's here we're gonna be doing sister Sundays which I told you guys was gonna be my new vlog day so we'll be uploading I'll be uploading a vlog she'll be doing it as well I actually have her as a featured channel on my homepage if you want to check her out I'll leave her listed below as well but we're gonna be doing vlogs every Sunday and then also do my two beauty videos a week I have so many video ideas planned I just don't have the time to film it um so I'm gonna get back to it just wanted to like update you guys because you know we're best friends I have to let you guys know everything so let's go ahead and jump into this haul I haven't used anything because I wanted to share it with you guys first before I used anything like I feel like I have to tell you guys about it before I use it a lot of this stuff was like really affordable I also had a coupon so it made it a little bit cheaper what I'm actually gonna be doing is reading you guys what it claims to do so you guys can kind of get a feel for it as well and just explain like what I plan on using it and how I plan on using it because I'm actually switching up my entire skincare routine um, because my skin is a shit show <laughs> to be honest I am like having problems with my skin that I just feel like I need to change things up I noticed this back in the beginning of last year so about a year and a half ago that my skin was also like being really weird I finished all my stuff off and then I just incorporated all new stuff and I felt like my skin was doing amazing for a really really long time and now that I'm out of a lot of things again or very shortly gonna be out I was like let's just change up everything so that's what we're gonna do so I will explain it to you guys um, just so you know if you want to try these things out so I'm really suffering with a lot of fine lines that I notice are getting like worse and worse my skin has also gone from like being super super oily in my t-zone still I'm also getting to this weird place where I'm getting like a lot of cakiness especially under my eye around my nostrils um, um, kind of like a little bit on the drier side which is weird for me because my skin's not like that um, and then I'm also having a ton of texture I have so much texture in this part of my forehead I don't know if the camera will show it off but it's so bad to the point that I'm like why won't it go away like it just won't go away so we're switching shit up I believe actually both these brands are UK brands, but I know The Ordinary, I want to say it's a UK brand for sure. I've tried a ton of their stuff and I love everything. I cannot recall of a single thing that I've tried from them that I don't like. This is the um, Organic Cold Press Rose Hip Seed Oil. I am like pretty sure I heard this from Raw Beauty Christie. I could be wrong, um, but I want to say I heard it from her, so I did look into it because I was interested in trying it out. It looks just like this. Let me go ahead and pull this up so I can tell you guys how much this is, actually. This retails for $9.80, and um, what's great about the Sephora website, especially I noticed with The Ordinary, 
Ordinary. They actually have somebody who works for The Ordinary that explains their products in detail. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys. Like, So here it is right here. If you scroll this way, it'll have a video. Um, and I noticed this for the majority of their products. It'll kind of tell you how to use everything. Um, it'll compare it to other products that are similar in that line or similar things to that product. I thought that was so helpful for me and that's actually like there were other things that I was going to get but changed my mind because of watching those videos. So I wanted to let you guys know that too. I love that they did that. From what I understood from the video was this is what you use in place of like a retinol. It's supposed to kind of act as like a retinol and if you guys don't know retinols plump the skin. I think I wanted to get this to use with the retinol but watching that video she said you're supposed to use it I believe in place of the retinol. You're supposed to apply to the face once a day ideally at bedtime after application of water based treatments. It's supposed to be good for normal oily combination dry and sensitive and it reduces signs of aging. It has a lot of information but um, basically it's just supposed to be really good for wrinkles and again according to that video I think you're not supposed to use it with a retinol you're supposed to use it in place of a retinol so I haven't even like opened this up but oh, it looks like this so go ahead and show you guys this very very and I haven't like tried any of this stuff so I'm gonna try this out um, I don't know that like mmm mmm smells kind of weird it smells like fish almost that's kind of gross hopefully that scent doesn't linger I thought like I've been using the retinol already let me just try something different so I picked that up and then I'm also almost out of my vitamin C serum that I use from Eve Hansen so I got this from the ordinary it's the vitamin C suspension 30% in silicone looks just oh well, let me take it out of the packaging um, it looks like this and I was a little confused while I was looking for a new vitamin C from them because they have three different types of vitamin C's this one was supposed to be like kind of like a middle range one they had a very mild one for people who are just getting used to using vitamin C this one and then one that was like I think they said that was for people who are their skin is already very used to it um, because I believe it's supposed to have a little bit of like a tingling sensation when you use it again reference back to that video if you're interested what confused me about this was I was looking for this in the form of a serum and this pops up when you type it in in the search bar but it was just so weird because it comes out as like a cream I've never seen a vitamin C like that so I thought let's just go ahead and try it oh it's like really silicone -y. it almost feels like a primer mmm it smells so good Ooh, it smells delightful I didn't want to get the pure one because I don't know how pure the vitamin C one is that I'm using right now um, and I, I was like let me just try this I just wanted to try that one out this only retails for 680 that's pretty cheap for like a, like good vitamin C also these all have really really great reviews as well um, and sometimes I feel like Sephora like finesses their reviews because I've never seen anything that has lower than like a 3.5 review which to me that's kind of like middle range um, so I actually went through and read like the majority of the reviews or like at least like the first few pages just to see like what people are actually saying and it has like amazing reviews all these products have amazing reviews so it says that it's a solution for uneven skin tone fine lines and wrinkles it's supposed to be good for improving signs of aging while brightening the skin I really really need brightness um, because I feel like my skin's been very dull lately but then I again I think this is like not the purest purest form it's like a middle range between their purest one and then their super super like I guess diluted one um so I thought I would try it I was like that looks really cool let me try that out so that's that I like to use vitamin C underneath my makeup as skin prep for the day so um I just wanted to try that one. I thought it was interesting because it was in like a silicone formula. So the next thing I got was this. Now this is actually a peel. And I was almost like, not that I was scared to try it because I love trying new skincare, but I was almost turned off from trying it because this you're only supposed to leave on for 10 minutes. And I was like, do I, do I really want to do that? I'm not going to lie. I like hate doing my skincare at night. Um, I know some people really enjoy it and it's therapeutic, but for me, I just want to get it off my face and get the sh like get the shit done and get in bed. That's just how I am. I believe it said you're supposed to use it about twice a week. I'll go ahead and read it to you guys straight from the website. But from what I understand, from what I remember at least, you're supposed to put this on your face and let it sit for 10 minutes and then wash it off. So it's more of like a treatment and then you go in and do your serums and creams and stuff like that. So, looks like this. It's like a purple. Oh, interesting. I'm kind of excited to try this, but 
I was like, let me just try it. Like, if I'm gonna go ahead and order it, because I don't think they sell the brand in store. I think you have to, can only order it online. I can't tell if the smell is from the rose hip. Let me smell this. Mm, it kind of smells like berries. Um, so I was like, let me just go ahead and get it up. It was pretty affordable too. This was only $7.20. So it says that it's an exfoliating solution to help fight visible blemishes and improve the look of skin texture and radiance for normal combination and oily. Um, it's for people whose concerns are blemishes, fine lines, wrinkles, dullness, and uneven texture, which I have all those things. Apply to a clean, dry face, leave on for 10 minutes, then rinse with lukewarm water. Use ideally in the PM no more frequently than twice per week. So it's a treatment, obviously. Um, it says don't use on wet skin, don't leave it on for longer than 10 minutes, discontinue use if there's irritation. So I'm excited to try that. Um, I really stepped up my skincare, I feel like, in the last year with using serums because I never used to use serums. And so now I feel like I'm kind of like, oh, let me get into these like fancy treatments, even though it's not fancy at all. But to me, it's like a step that I've never done before. So. I'm excited to try that. I'll let you guys know how everything works out. Okay, let's move on to the ink list now. I posted about this on Instagram and a lot of people um, DM me and said to try this eye cream. It's a caffeine eye cream. You guys know I love my L'Oreal eye cream. It's like such a basic, simple eye cream, but it just really hydrates my eyes, but never makes my eyes too greasy for makeup. So I was like, you know what? I think it was only 10 bucks. I was like, let me try it. Um, doesn't hurt to try something new, and then I can report back to you guys. So it's $9.99. It's called the Caffeine Eye Cream. And it only has a, a couple of reviews, but it's almost five stars. Hydrating, lightweight, under eye cream that helps reduce the appearance of puffiness, dark circles, and fine lines. So like, I guess, cause it has caffeine in it, it's supposed to be good for uh, puffiness. So if you have a lot of puffiness when you wake up, I don't really feel like puffiness is something that I suffer with a lot, but um, I guess for those days it would be great if you are one of those people that gets really puffy in the morning. Do you guys smell things when you first um, get it? I'm like a smeller. I have to smell everything, but oh yeah, it is pretty nice. It, it is. It does feel very nice and lightweight. I'll have to try it under makeup and let you guys know, but it does feel pretty, um, it, very similar, like almost like gel-ish, like my um, L'Oreal ones. This is the, what is this? I don't know what you're called. Oh, this is a collagen booster. Who does it need? a collagen booster in their skin. So I saw this and I was like, oh yeah, I wanna try that. This is only $10.99 and it says that it visibly plumps and reduces the look of fine lines, wrinkles for plumper, healthier looking skin for all skin types. Uh, skincare concerns are loss of firmness, elasticity, and fine lines and wrinkles. It's a lightweight serum. So I got this to use in place of the lactic acid from The Ordinary that I'm using right now. I really like that, but I, f I don't know if my skin has gotten used to it. I really liked it in the beginning at least. Um, I don't know if my skin has gotten used to it or if I just need something different, but I'm ready to try something else. So I got this to use um, like in conjunction with the rosehip seed oil. So I don't use retinol every single night. I use it every other night. Way back when, when I first started using retinol, I had a reaction to it. Um, well, not way back when, but when I first started using it, I tried a different brand and it, it like, I didn't like the way it made my skin feel. My skin was really dry and sensitive and it broke me out. So I don't know if that was that brand, of course, but I was just like, let me use it every other night instead of using it every night. So that's what I've been doing like for the last year and a half or so. So I'll alternate between using these uh, per night. So that's why I got this. And I thought collagen, uh, yeah, give me all the collagen. Oh, it's just like a clear serum. It almost looks like a clear gloss. I wonder how this hand is gonna feel once I'm done with it, like with all this stuff. Ooh, it feels nice, very silky. Ooh, plant me up, baby. The last thing I have is also from the Inklist. It is the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I got this to use in place of my Eve Hansen one um, underneath makeup as well because I am almost out of that one. So this retails for $7.99. Um, I'm sure, I feel like most people know what Hyaluronic Acid does, but I'll go ahead and let you guys know just in case you don't know. A hydrating serum that targets dry skin, reduces the look of fine lines, and visibly plumps for all skin types. Uh, skincare concerns are dryness, fine lines and wrinkles, dullness and uneven texture. I love hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is like just a godsend for your skin. If you feel like you're just kind of missing some extra hydration, I very highly recommend you try a hyaluronic acid serum or 
uh, a lot of moisturizers have hyaluronic acid in it and you will see such a big difference in your skin especially if you're like maybe around like my age where you're getting a little bit older I'm almost 30 God, I hate to say that. I'm like at that age where like my skin isn't bouncing back like it used to basically. And I love it because it's so lightweight. Like for me being like an oily girl, I don't feel like hyaluronic acid makes me more oily. And ever since I started using it, I can't go back. Like I'll, I don't think I'll ever stop using a hyaluronic acid. It just adds like plumpness. It's just like that step that I was missing in my routine that I didn't know I was missing. So I highly recommend it. Even if you don't have issues with your skin, it never hurts to like start incorporating these things too because for the long run as well, like when you do get older and you know when fine lines and wrinkles and stuff start becoming um, like a concern, it's like you've been doing all these things to prevent it for all this time. So yeah, that's actually it. Not a ton of stuff, but I just wanted to share with you guys. Um, I mentioned that I was getting a whole bunch of new skincare and a lot of you guys commented on whatever video I said that in and wanted me to let you guys know. So yeah, that's that. Pretty affordable stuff. I love affordable skincare. Um, and I'm excited to test it out and let you guys know like what the deal is with everything. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for being so patient with me while I haven't been putting out videos. Again, hopefully like shit starts to calm down and you know I can get back to like my regular routine. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe before you go and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!